Hello everyone and welcome in another Arduino interfacing tutorial. In this tutorial we are, we are going to interface four digit seven segment display using shift registers. The shift register I had choose as uh, uh, 4094 four, 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 but you can uh, uh, you can use any other shift register like uh, uh, 74HC595 or some other that you prefer the uh, code and other methodology will remain the same the digits that i had used is common cathode this is because uh, most of the time when i use the non multiplex seven segments it is because i want to dis uh, i want to drive larger displays like uh, uh, more than uh, two inch or three inch or large displays which drive a more a lot of current so i prefer to interface them as non multiplex manner it also uh, uh, makes my code simpler so i also choose to uh, use this methodology whenever i am doing a lot of work in my arduino coding and uh, i have no uh, way or uh, algorithm to multiplex or i cannot uh, overload my microcontroller like Arduino to uh, handle the multiplexing which requires almost a multi-threaded uh, task or at least uh, drive by seven uh, timers to properly drive these seven segments. So uh, using this manner I'll, I'll so reduce the pins so you only need three pins to interface four or any other number of seven segments so whenever you are short of pins of your arduino so you need this methodology to interface the seven segment so coming to the circuit diagram all we had done is attached all of the clocks together and the straw pins together the pin number 15 of 4094 is connected together and pulled up or connected to the uh, logic high it will give a logic high to this pin which will enable the outputs of this or uh, any all of the shift registers so the clock and straws are connected to the microcontroller and the first uh, data pin which is the pin number two of 4094 is connected to the uh, pin a2 of the microcontroller so uh, you can uh, choose whatever pin you like so I, most of the time i interface these uh, on these pins whenever i am not using any analog signals so um, the other data pins are uh, connected to the uh, first or the previous ones qs pin which is the pin number nine so the pin number nine is connected to the next data pin of the next shift register so the pin number nine of this shift register will be connected to the next uh, u4 shift register so on and so forth so in this manner we had connected over four digit seven segments and when i run the simulation it will display one two three four so nothing fancy nothing uh, complicated this tutorial is meant to be as simple as possible to just let you know <clears throat> how to drive non multiplex seven segments using shift registers so coming to the code here uh, first of all i had uh, created a macro which will tell how many displays i am using so this code will be portable to choose any number of displays later on if you are using only one display or you are using uh, eight display or you are using 12 or any n number of displays you can just write the number here the next three uh, are the pin uh, descriptions, uh, straw pin, data pin, and clock pin. So I had uh, uh, add the Arduino pin numbers accordingly, A2, A1, and A0. The next is the array. So whatever uh, digit that you want to put on the respective digit on the uh, shift register or seven segment, all you have to do is to place that in this array, shift out buffer. So I named this, you, but, uh, you can name the, it whatever you like. The shift out buffer will contain the value of the respective digit. So you can read or write to that. So the next thing is the segment char. This is basically a font for uh, displaying 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 
of all the digits. So whenever you need to write uh, the font to the digit, you are using this segment chart array. <clears throat> Uh, this is the update display uh, function. You need to uh, call this function whenever you uh, want to update the values on your display uh, because once written, it will remain there until you change the values using this update display function. Uh, what this fun uh, function do is first of all, it create a reverse loop. It start from the number of displays, which is in our case four minus one, which is the three because our uh, array is zero index array. So we need minus one here. And also this loop will uh, be greater than until uh, greater than minus one, which means it will loop through seven to zero. And this is a decremental loop. So in this loop, what we are going to do is uh, shift out our data pin, clock pin, and MSB first. And after that, we are taking the font from our segment chart array and uh, uh, the uh, number which are we are going to pick is will be according to the shift out buffer. So uh, in the shift out buffer, we are choosing the ith uh, digit. So we are basically uh, putting the digits in the reverse manner so seventh uh, the last digit first and the msb will be first so that's how we are shifting over output to the seventh segment and finally we are writing high back to our stop pin which we had put on low before writing any shifting process so that's all for updating the display in your setup, what we are going to do is to uh, make all over stop, clock, and data pin as an output. So when we put these pins as a, an output, it will display, uh, it will uh, let us use uh, all the pins as an output. So that's what these functions do, the pin mode function. And after that, once we had place uh, when, once we had configured our pins as an output after that what we are going to do is creating a loop and all i am going to do is to put a value of one two three and four into the shift out buffer and after that i update the display and once i compile and uh, reload the value in the <coughs> microcontroller and if I play the simulation, it will display one, two, three, and four to that. And uh, here you can see in our code that we are not doing nothing in our loop. So it is a non-blocking call. It means that once you update the display, it will remain there. So in coding, you don't have to worry about how to uh, refresh the display or how to do uh, handle the multiplexing so you don't have to do the multiplexing you you don't need to worry about that all you have to do is to call uh, put the values in shift out buffer and call the update display function and that's it this code is uh, the link to the code is provided in the description below you can check out the description and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you want more videos like this or the programming and the embedded systems so that's all for today's tutorial see you in the next one stay